and welcome to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, where we present live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery and feature students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University's Herbert and Nicole Wertheim School of Music and the Performing Arts. I'm your host today in FIU faculty, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Dr. Karen Velas, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Whether you're listening to us at home, in your car, or live on WDNA.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. Today, we are pleased to feature the FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Professor Mike Eckroth and featuring FIU School of Music undergraduate and graduate students Justin Dixon on trumpet, Joshua Leal, Isaac Nyman, and Keith Sellers on sax, Andres Medeiros on trombone, Sibone Godoy Torres on violin, Danny Colazzo on guitar, Felipe Castillo and Guillermo Tomas on piano, Ania Gonzalez and Francisco Castillo on bass, and Gabriel Placido and David Johnson, drums and percussion. The FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble plays a range of styles of jazz music influenced by Afro-Caribbean rhythmic styles and Cuban folklore. The group features Latin percussion and a horn section and plays mostly instrumental music. The Latin Jazz Ensemble. Thank you. 
Here with Professor Mike Eckroth. Yes. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, this is a heck of a band. We've got, I see, ten musicians up on stage. <laughs> At least. At least, uh, and they're changing out. We have uh, yeah. two piano players, two bass players, yes. and drums and percussion, along Correct. with three saxophones, a trombone, trumpet, violin, and guitar. Wow. Got everything. That we got, yeah, it's pretty much <laughs> everything. I could think of a couple of things. but. Harp. <laughs> For example. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about this group and, and the ensemble. Okay. Well, this is my third year doing this. Uh, so I started in uh, a couple years ago at FIU. Uh, I'm one of the three full-time uh, jazz uh, professors we have. And we started doing this ensemble 
Uh, it, I inherited the ensemble, and uh, we've been doing this genre of music in different ways for you know since I started. So the music we're doing today, uh, I don't know if it's time to talk about that yet, yes, but all absolutely. these arrangements are um, uh, copy arrangements of the Fort Apache band, mm. uh, which feature Jerry Gonzalez, the trumpet player, and, and his brother Andy on bass. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of this genre kind of like, um, I would, I guess if I had to categorize it, I would say it's like Roomba jazz, Wawanko jazz, because it just always seems to have, they seem to go into the folkloric uh, rhythm or as a way to play the tune. Like, for instance, we have a couple Thelonious Monk tunes on the docket today. Right. Um, and other stuff, jazz standards, Ellington, things like that. But um, Miles, they've turned yeah, into Miles that rhythm. Davis. Miles Davis, exactly. Well. Yeah. Uh, I, Miles was obviously a big influence on Jerry mm. as a trumpet player, and as, he's an influence on everybody, but I find that Jerry sounded a lot like Miles in a way also. Right, and Jerry also played percussion. Yeah, he also played percussion. He, yeah, he was also, he kicked butt. So um, it was really cool um, for us to explore this music this semester. Um, so we have a concert tonight. Should we talk about that yet? Um, we can talk about it, certainly. Let's, let's well, talk about it. I'll just mention it, and we can, we can get into it later yeah, if absolutely. you like to. But uh, we have a concert this evening in, in the concert hall at FIU where we're going to be presenting this music that you're going to hear on the radio and more. And a lot more, yeah. right. Right, um, and so when you're working with the students, what are some of the things, because I'm sure for some of the students it may be they know this music and others may not know it right. as well or they're yes. learning more about it. What are some things you try to in inculcate to the music? Well, first I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface that by the fact that we are in Miami is a plus. Yes. Because even if our students haven't um, professionally played let's say Latin American music or Cuban music, they are definitely aware of it. <laughs> so I think everybody just falls into the groove very easily. Um, and that's really nice. Um, but yeah, we, we are introducing everybody to, to a way of playing that they didn't, they, you know, many people don't know yet. So um, what I try to do is, uh, you know, emphasize the basics. And I try to, you know, expose everybody to a lot of uh, historical, historical music that's going to inform how this whole genre gets played now. I mean, we generally tend to play things that are a little bit older. So we play things, you know, from the 50s, 60s, maybe 70s, but just kind of in that crossroads between Cuban music, Cuban rhythms, Afro-Caribbean rhythms, South American rhythms, and, and jazz music. Mm -hmm. um, and so, right, uh, for instance, we don't have any Latin percussion students hmm. at our college. Interesting. Um, we, you can study that there, but currently we don't. So um, everybody who comes into this band as a drummer is also required to play Latin percussion. And so everyone, actually a lot of the guys, you're going to see uh, people picking up the claves or the bongos or, or other instruments um, to assist. Um, so everyone is being exposed, um, you know, to the, to the traditional side of, of, of Afro-Cuban percussion playing including the drum set players. So I think that's a wonderful thing to be learning about in this band too. Absolutely. And, and the more you, you know about other instruments, what they're doing, that, in, involve, that will in, in, uh, inform you inform. as a musician. Absolutely. That was the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was there somewhere. You. If you know what the percussion parts are, you know, so we got to a point now in this ensemble, if somebody plays the, plays the clave backwards, everybody turns around and goes, hey, <laughs> you know, so it might not have started out that way. Um, and everyone's kind of, you know, really in the semester, I've seen everybody grow a lot. Well, uh, the band's sounding, sounding great. And uh, maybe one last question for now, because uh, we'll talk again in, in sure. a little while. But for someone who's getting into Latin jazz, uh, who would you recommend listening to? Well, the first thing I would say would be to go back to the 50s um, and listen to the music that started in that period, which is kind of the first strong, you know, few groups that came out. So in Cuba, there was groups like the group of Cachao, the bass player who had a lot of improvisation. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't playing. I mean, sometimes or even the Cuban piano player, Peruchin, who also did similar kind of. Um, jam session music so there's that whole genre and then there's people in new york city that were doing the same thing and they were in, it's starting to involve cuban percussionists so that goes back to dizzy gillespie with his big band where he had a he had chano pozo in his band shortly and then also the the charlie parker recordings with machito which 
I don't know how much of a fusion that is, but it's just amazing to hear Charlie Parker playing like Charlie Parker on top of the Machito band, which is a real straight Afro-Cuban band. You right. Know, uh, uh, <clears throat> it was cool to hear that. Chico that O'Farrell? Mix. Chico O'Farrell. Yeah, and there was... Right, exactly. There's a whole um, universe of kind of Cuban jazz big band music. Chico O'Farrell is one of the big composers and band leaders from that period. So you can hear a lot of the mixing of styles in that music. Um, Cal Chater, also the vibraphonist. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of... And, and even George Shearing. Really? George Shearing was one of the first... Yeah, he was one of the first... Um, I guess non-Cubans to use, um, or non-Latinos to use um, Cuban percussion uh, in his band. Yeah. Yeah, and well, uh, the interesting thing you know about Cuban Fire by Stan Kenton. Yes. And he sent his arranger. Uh, what was it, Johnny Richards? Um, so he sent him to Cuba to to study music with the Cuban. Stuff. Yeah. And and that That's brought that done. whole album. And so I think we're going to hear another. Thelonious Monk tune next. We are. We'll do something else that's also um, from the Fort Apache band. Um, this is Baya, Thelonious Monk's Baya. Wonderful. FIU Latin Jazz Band, Latin Ensemble. Thank you. 
the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM with the FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Professor Mike Eckroth. We'll be right back after these messages. This week, the FIU School of Music will be hosting the following exciting concerts. Tonight, November 21st at 7.30 p.m. in the Wertheim Performing Arts Center Concert Hall, our very own FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble. They present a retrospective of Latin jazz styles of the past 50 years. The ensemble will perform a variety of music, including Cuban percussion, the music of Jerry Gonzalez and the Ford Apache Band, and will also pay tribute to the great trumpeter Woody Shaw. Also tonight at 8 p.m. in the Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ, pianist Asia Koreponova, Rachmaninoff at 153 Sonatas. In partnership with the Friends of Chamber Music of Miami, the Wertheim School of Music and Performing Arts proudly presents a spectacular evening of Rachmaninoff featuring pianist Asia Koreponova, and she will be playing three piano sonatas by Rachmaninoff, opus 19, 28, and 36. For these and many more exciting events, you can find information at university, I'm sorry about that, FIUUniversityTickets.com. And now, back to our show with the FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Professor Mike Eckroth.
Justin Nixon now on uh, his little super high note and now he's playing the soft song part. All right, wonderful.
listening to the FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Professor Mike Eckroth, featuring FIU School of Music undergraduate and graduate students Justin Dickinson, I'm sorry, Justin Dixon, trumpet, who you just heard there, Joshua Leal, Isaac Nyman, and Keith Sellers on saxophones, Andres Medeiros on trombones, Sibonet, Godoy Torres on violin, Danny Colazo on guitar, Felipe Castillo and Guillermo Tomas on piano, Anier Gonzalez and Francisco Castillo on bass, and Gabriel Placido and David Johnson on drums and percussion on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I've been your faculty host, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Dr. Karen Velaz, we'd like to thank our production crew, FIU grad students Ruben and Anna, WDNA sound and tech wizard Alex Audrich, Danny, and the staff of WDNA 88.9 FM for today's broadcast. If you'd like more information on all our programs, make sure to call 305-348-2896. And you can also like our Facebook and or Instagram page to stay up to date with all our upcoming performances. Thanks again to our guests. And uh, Mike, what are we going to hear as our last tune? Uh, we, uh, we switched it up. We're going to do um, something also from Fort Apache. So you'll hear the uh, opening segments of... Uh, of Nefertiti. Oh, fantastic. Nefertiti, the Wayne Shorter composition. Here's Nefertiti. Mm -hmm. 